Hey, um, this is Ryu Kosaka from Nagoya University. And today we're having a seminar on uh, environmentally friendly food in the society of uh, population decline at a Anthropocene. Um, it's a big title, but uh, we have the honor, uh, a guest speaker from Ireland and Rosine Burke and uh, Professor Rosine, uh, Rosine Burke, and we look forward to her lecture. Today uh, is this, um, are the seminar participants list um, from mainly from the project uh, that we are uh, conducting at the moment. Uh, and we also have the honor uh, of having Professor Mima from actually from California uh, today. Uh, this project, uh, hello, Professor Mima. <laughs> um, this project is uh, is uh, in, in the uh, uh, is um, supported by the JSPS Takenhi grant, and the the title is. Uh, illustrated above, and we try to uh, see what are the impact of these new technologies that we're witnessing right now and its impact to food culture and uh, in a multiple generational uh, perspective. So therefore, we, we our title is Transformation of Food and Formation of Food Culture in the Anthropocene. And what are the, these impacts in multicultural, uh, multi-generational way? And what what are the things that we can learn? Uh, and we we take rather a social science perspective on these matters. Uh, but today we would uh, very much look forward to uh, perspectives and insights uh, from other uh, maybe approaches. Oops, um, I think. In Japan, it, there are a lot of uh, talk right now about the a cultured meat or bayoniku in Japanese or plant-based meat alternatives, um, which is shokubutsu kara matsukurata oniku no yona mono desu And we, these are the, I think, uh, some topics, new emerging topics maybe, but we also at the same time have this long traditional tradition of uh, uh, tofu and other uh, foods um, that we sort of mi either mimitate or are um, based on plants, but uh, try to um, create uh, the taste of meat or fish. And uh, for example, you can find these in, in, in foods in the mo monarchy or temples. Uh, so the, these are the um, also has a very cultural and uh, traditional aspects as well. So the, these are the issues that maybe we can discuss, and it's discussed mostly now in the Western, maybe what we could say Western context, or in, in some cases um, Southeast Asia. For example, Singapore is uh, a some, one of the leading country. Uh, in this technology. So uh, we, we, we need to look at how things are developing in these aspects. Yeah, and also uh, one of the considerations are the environmental uh, impacts of these foods or whether they, they, they can have a fairly positive impacts in, in the carbon, in the biodiversity, in water use. So these are the points that maybe the consumers as well as the manufacturers would consider in the context of SDGs or, or other targets that is globally um, set, for example, for biodiversity or for the climate change. Yeah, I think with that, uh, I would like to uh, finish my five minutes introduction.